Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again on Last Gasp. We're back with some more Quantum Break, part 2. I'll be honest, I did part 1. No commentary. For one reason only. Not because I wanted you to enjoy the storyline. Not because my mic was broken. Purely and simply because I didn't think I was going to enjoy the game. I thought it was just going to be a one-off. I was bored. I had nothing else to do for that night. So I thought, fuck it. Stream for Quantum Break. Couldn't be bothered to talk. And I love the game. It's amazing. Can't believe I haven't played it yet. I've had it installed for about six months. Owned it for about two years. I think it's about two years since it came out. Um, saw Jack Septic I played an episode. Thought, nah, not for me. How wrong was that? So, no more talk. No, nothing else to say. Let's just jump back in. Or we're going to have a previously on Quantum Break. I feel like we might. I feel like it might be that type of game. Haven't tried yet. I hope it is. I hope we have one of them. Are we having a previously? The CFR Chamber. 25 hours after fraction time. No previously. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. So fuck over time. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. How did things come to be? I've always been devoted Tell to Tell me more. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen dry docks leaves. two hours after fracture. Well, is that counting I've seen where back? It is, isn't it? So this is two hours after. And then we're going to go back again to half an hour after and five minutes after. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived. I love how it's all we like genuine actors. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's what more? more? Tell us more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. Oh, some more people were affected. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Well, hold on. Am I the student now? I see two options. We could use force. Remove any oh, I'm the sales. bad guy? But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. All clear, sir. All clear. Alternatively, Are you talking about a broad PR strategy? I didn't ask you nothing, boy. Mind all clear. What's in here? The loose ends. Precise. You're hiding shit. Now you look a bit, bit shifty. The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as Mr. a unified Serene? strategy moving forward. Right. A unified strategy moving forward. But what was the other 30 seconds of shit you said? Hold on, mate. What did you see? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, the statue of a ram. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder of a reminder of what? You just initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your action. Next episode of what show? What are you talking about? I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation. Liam Burke detail. can kiss my ass. I want to know more about this round and about different episodes of stuff. Yo, dude, what's on your back? That's some fancy radiation shit. Caution, fragile. Yo, dude, why are you walking about with a fragile car on your back? Or are you two like the the idiot twins that walk about with fragile cars on the back? Yeah, it's a dangerous job, but somebody's got to do it. What's this? What? What? How long? Oh, the time machine. Ready for transport. It'll be in route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Hold on. Is he making another time machine? Setting up a new corridor. Let's have a look. See what else we can find out. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. 
The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. 17 years? The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Just a little bit confused. So he went back in time 15 years, relived back to this point, went back in time six years, relived back to this point, and then he got me to send him back two minutes in time to that point. But for what reason? You hear about the library? Serene brought down the whole building just to take out. Right, used to just chill. Right, there's plenty of stuff over here that I need to know. Talk about making a point. Jack Joyce dossier. Jack Joyce. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. What's going to change? I'm going to break Sir. free. Who is this? It's Jack's little girlfriend. Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders and how to proceed. Shoot the bitch in the head. Um. Activate junction. No, I want to shoot the bitch in the head. What's this? Oh, there, there we go. Paul, we need. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon syndrome Ooh. worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. You could do what? But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The junction power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. What live action show? I've selected something in the options that turns sort of off copyrighted music and on a streamer mode, so I don't know if the live action show is referring to me streaming or recording, or if there's something in the game that is a live action show. I just don't know. Hold to show the hard line, hold to show PR. What's the hard line? Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait. Shoot the bitch in the head, that's what I said. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all Absolutely. witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. <laughs> Excuse me. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody right. on that bridge. So, basically, we have the choice as to whether or not we want uh, the story to sort of uh, back up the bad guys or back up the good guys. So if we take that choice, Although we're going to take the hard line with her and shoot her in the head. In the end it's going to give Jack more allies to fight us. But the secrets would be safe. So if we do this one, I'm guessing... Initialize a PR campaign. I want to this is going to make the bad guys look good. Was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Ooh, Joyce. that seems exciting. I could be on the run. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. Oh, that's a plan. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Oh, what do I do? Um... Hmm. Order all the witnesses to be eliminated. So we're going to shoot a shitload of people in the head. Or should we frame Jack and make it look like he's the villain? Um, I feel like if I was really a bad guy, I feel like I would frame Jack. Because shooting witnesses is always a stupid choice. But I think in the long run, it would be better for Jack if I shot all the witnesses. Hmm. Right, we're going to shoot the witnesses. Just do it there we're and then. Taking the hard line 
Any potential threats to our plan need to be Bye bye, little girl. About to eat some lead. That's it, there's the little death nod. Take the bitch away. Take her and the others to the ground zero operation. Ooh. Make it quick. Painless. You heard him, right? No. Wait. Please! Cold. Please. Evil motherfuckers. Please, stop. Please. Just do your job. Pop a cap on her ass. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Right, so what happened? I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. So you knew it was always that gives going the to chosen happen. few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. You caused the end of time. I caused the end of time. Junction one hardline. You chose to save Serene. Take the hardline approach. Friends, Fargo and one of your friends agreed with your choice. 37% of the community agreed with your choice. Okay, thank you. I don't know what that was on the bottom. Episode 1, Monarch Solutions. Oh. Industrial area interrogation room, two hours after the fracture in time. Time's up. Oh, so now we have live action. What do you want? To know what's going on. Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. I would really be happy just knowing what's going on. See those two men on either side of me? Well, I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right. No, don't tell us. Is going to shoot you in the head. Alright, I thought he was going to torture her. Fuck you. Haha, <laughs> just not scared. Hmm. A big fat fuck you. I think the dude there is going to rescue her. He's a bitch. Told you. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Did warn you. Take a chill pill, man. Acting like a girl for. They're taking the best way to shoot them. He knows a secret. I don't me. like when other people know secrets. Walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? I'm, I'm a little bit lost. Am I supposed oh. to be Jack Joyce? Or am I supposed to be the bad guy? Like, I'm not... Um. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Most of them. I'm a professional. Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. Oh, my wife Emily's called us three times. He's psychic, he knew. She's missing us. Can't get enough of the sexy body. This is an right, come on, hack that, hack that shit. Go on, hack it. Break down them firewalls. Plant that worm. Okay, now, 
City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of Group Report because they have all these government contractors who need to. Well, okay, slow down. That means weaknesses. So, oh, we have, huh? Where? Where, Where the are weaknesses? Weaknesses, Where? you said. Shut the fuck up, Bernard. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple. simple? Sounds simple. Is it really simple though? Come on. Come on. Find that trail. And we're in. Eh? Street cams, dash cams. Computers at headquarters, I mean, how I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? Coffee? Ooh, yeah, I on this desk. Coffee. The fuck is it doing on my desk, Bernard? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? Coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. What a prick. Now, Fancy not using a coaster. Burner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's going to take because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. Simples. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Simples. Shit. Yeah, not so clever now, are you? Big bad boss man. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. I was just... Winker, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I've, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Ooh. Hello? Do you think that other guy is going to turn on them? Going to turn out to be well, a good I'll guy? Let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? The Martin Hatch? Okay. Get the fuck out of my office. Just... Hope that bitch took his cup with him. Hmm? To be honest, I, I watched, like I said, Jack Septiguy play an episode, and I didn't say any of this. It's like a full on film, halfway through the game. Not even halfway through the game. An episode and a half through the game. M. But he says sorry. Go on, see it. Things have been really bad at work. That's his excuse. Here comes the apology. I'm sorry. Boom! There it is. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Secretly oh means she's a lesbian. Airpods. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Well, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the gameplay. Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Crazy fool. If you haven't been home, let's smash that in two days. Yeah, you need a slap. <laughs> Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You right, <laughs> so video might be about to be rated 18. Close your eyes. <laughs> Get your freak on. I'm about chicken. Wow, wow.
Oh, saved by the bell. No 18 rated action today, guys. Sorry. It's okay, go. It's okay, go. Turn into a cartoon character. And let us control you. And then this can be a game again. Motherfucker. Yeah. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. It's time. <coughs> I've got to go. I got to go. I'm amazing me. Ooh, what's happened? Student ride at the campus university. At the university campus. You know what I mean. One that could boil over at any moment. Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and the Here we go. Am I taking control? Is this it? It's a rift in time. Imagine if that was really happened, you could just freeze time. Wander around and mess people's hairs up, tie the shoelaces together, hang toilet roll out the back of the pants. So many fun things you could do. So can he just freeze the whole of time across the whole world? Or the freezing of time is happening sporadically, but he can still move through it, I think. I think that's what we learned in the first episode. Him and Jack can move through the time fracture still. So again, we're two, uh, two hours after fracture. He's evil. He's a bad, bad man. Monarch's headquarters demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Hold. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. You can't stop him if you've if already seen this. It's already the future. It's yeah, already happened. Fifth calm, traitor. You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. He just doesn't know to see it. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. it sounded a Just little bit like a threat, doesn't it? Doesn't know who he's threatening. I am the Time Lord. He looks pretty fucking evil as well, doesn't he? regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently I'm glad I got a commentator on the film today. This was exactly what I planned when I sat down to play a game. Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. Well, these two bacon and egg sandwiches. Bacon and egg, yes, please. Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on end numbers and specs. Up, IT. And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been. Brings your bait and an egg. Don't ask for security clearance, boy. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. The Joel new. Miller. What difference does that make? Terminated. You're fired. So what's the what's the four one one? 
What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> did he just oh, delete yeah. that from the <laughs> from the file? I think uh, he did. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's Hope fine. Hope you do, we pet. Thanks for asking. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, right, I'll, I'll I think go. you just pulled. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I'm sure he's got a new dress ready for the occasion. Maybe I'll go naked. Nice. I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk. So. See you tonight. Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. She brought you a bit of an egg sandwich, asked you out on a date, and said she'd like to see you naked. Buddy. You scored, my friend. Happy days. Buddy. And guaranteed, though, you're going to get shot before you get laid. So we're still two hours after fracture in time. How can all of this be happening exactly two hours after the fracture? So she's the traitor. Is that the girl that he met, or that Jack Joyce met in the doorway when there were card encounters when it was actually a fucking game? Like, I don't know what I've done. Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, man. Either game graphics are getting a million times better, I really didn't want it to but be games are a shitload less you interactive. To to Step away from or it's man. changed to a film. Step away, right now! Shoot him in the left testicle. Drop the gun. I can't do that. You've three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. Wow. No! no. Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time Ooh, is Oh, see the magic back. there? The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end, the of, end of everything? Beth, the end of what? Of, the end time, of, what? of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. Everything. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Joyce just took down half my men. He's coming back for use as well. We're unarmed. I was responding. I did not give a fuck. I am with Monarch. On your knees. If they take me in, then it's the end for me. The end for you. Now. Just do what he says. Do not let them take us. I don't think you can stop them, can he? Think about Emily. Oh no. Just relax. Liam, shut up. The in for it now. He's thinking about his wife. Shit is definitely hitting the fan, guys. You just got kicked in the face by a bitch. Not so happy this days for you. Protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? I'm guessing he does. Oh, oh yeah, it's our hacker boy, isn't it? Oh, he can't. He's got a date. Nice. Oh, it was a runny one. Thanks, Fiona. Disgusting. She's still a keeper, mate. Holy shit. Lambert. But you know, there's your trailer. Gotcha, buddy. 
Josh is gonna love this. Oh shit. Right, so now we are three hours after the fracture in time. At least we're moving on a little bit. Oh, there's the little ram that I wanted to back in the office. Gotcha. Yep, but he's got you. How would you even try explaining Charlie. that to someone? I need a favor. Yeah. Um, could we talk somewhere in private? Uh, you'd really rather not. It's in your office. Be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. Oh, what's going to happen? So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um. He disappeared. He signed me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. Internal email asking for help. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. you got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to Absolutely you. Absolutely nothing. Pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. I think you're going to run out the door. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. What Nine, a little rat. Eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Oh, let us take control of him. Let me fight me way out the building. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder, you Monarch employees. Get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in HR. Here come the Monarch boys. Two fat security guards. I'm gonna take them out with a right to the chin. A kick to the chest. Right to the chin. Oh. Kick to the chest. Fucking idiots! Damn, stop! Oh, now they're bringing out the heavy guns. Pick up the weapon. He's not invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. See, so all of these were the perfect times to Brenner, put into gameplay. I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I think they kind of get the drift that he's there, especially them two. Them definitely feel the fact that he's there. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. Ooh, here we go. Whoever thought at the beginning of the episode was watching Fast and the Furious by the end. Second floor! You gotta cut him off! There's no way he's making it out. I bet he has to jump. <laughs> but no, he's made it out. He's heading out the entrance. Yeah, yeah no, stop him. On, you can do it. You got a little. Was it okay, Nissan NSX? South I think. On Eastman, south on Eastman. Yep, Nissan NSX. Has to be out of floor and leave the, the little Nissan SUVs there. Phantom 
team. He's headed to you. He's flying. Look out. Copy. Cut him off. Cut. Don't. Come on, you got this. Oh, there's no way they're keeping up with him in it. It's just no way. Like he would be streaming away from them. Yeah, that's it. Change gear. Move up a gear. You can only go about a hundred miles an hour faster than him. Ah, they're kind of cheating, the one Time fracture. Oh, come on. Jack, 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 save. Come on, Jack, save him. No, no savey, savey action. No. Well, guys, end of episode one. Um, technically, end of episode two, I should say. Episode one of the game, episode two of the series. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I guarantee in the next episode there'll be more actual gameplay, less film. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not saying it wasn't enjoyable. I had fun sitting here watching it. Hopefully you guys did too. So until next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.